Good morning, K Frontrunners. My name is Eva Gitaka. Good morning, Frontrunners. My name is Gila Brand. This week's edition, we're going to discuss about mindset of change and character development. So, Brian, what is it you understand with these terms? Change. I think change, uh, if I change my clothes uh, from one set to another, any change moja. And uh, about development, character development, uh, growing in self, actualizations. Yeah, that is what I understand from it. Cool. So, guys, uh, this is going to be a very hot discussion. So, please don't miss out. Keep watching. Yeah, and do like, subscribe, and share, and have a lovely Sunday. We worship you, our God. We praise our Lord. Because we know mm. that you Thank are God you. alone. You are promise keeper. You are our way maker. Yes, Lord. So we lift up praise to you, O oh God. We honor you, O oh God. You are here, moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, and you're turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. The way maker, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. I worship you. You are here. You are here. Moving in this place. Moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you.
Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Good morning, good morning, good morning, my people. Nice, and I thank God for this wonderful morning. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm really excited this wonderful morning. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Why are you excited, by the way? Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And that we should rejoice. And be glad in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, actually, I'm excited. You know, today we are having a hot, mm -hmm. hot topic. Mm -hmm. And what is it about? Lord, yeah. fix that person, please, mentality. Ah, yeah, manzi. I know all of us, you have that kind of thing. You know, ah, you want to fix somebody. Your boyfriend or your yeah. parent, your sibling, your uncle, your, your grandmother, your employer. You want to fix that person because you think, attitude. Now, that's what we are going to discuss this wonderful morning. But before we even go far, see, we will come the Holy Spirit to be in our midst. Please. Let us pray. Thank you. Father, we are so grateful this morning. We thank you for this another opportunity you've given us. Yes. The Lord, we just um, we are here to share and mm. even listen to what you are to tell us through this sharing. Yes, we Lord. pray, Holy Spirit, that you open our ears, that mm. we may be keen and attentive mm -hmm. to hear what the Spirit says to us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, because at the end of it, Lord, our desire is that we may be transformed mm -hmm. to the image of Christ, mm -hmm. that we may look at people mm -hmm. with the same eyes that you look at them with, oh God. Yes, and Lord. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you will be glorified through our lives yes. and through our attitudes, even, even as we deal with your people. Amen. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. be with us. In this session, yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Amen. Now, to, to give us a, 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 a takeoff, now let me give a, a very short historical background. Mm. Now, we all of us know a man called Nelson Mandela. We all of us know a man called Martin Luther King Jr. We all of us know a man called Mahatma Gandhi. Mm. Now, all those people, they led their countries in the struggle or in the liberation of their countries from, uh, from, from oppression of some sort. Now, one thing, now let me uh, single out on Nelson Mandela. When he was released from prison, mm -hmm. now he says very important words because he was in prison for almost 30 years. Now he said that he could either take his anger out or leave the anger from the cell. And that kind of a mindset really, really led to him to change the ideology mm -hmm. and the mindset of the South African people. Now he became, of course, the first a uh, black South African president, and he's a legend by the way, celebrate him. Now, one thing that Nelson Mandela did, he didn't try to fix the white guys or the people who came up with the apartheid regime. He didn't fix them. He did what to change them. But what he did is very important. He led his people to a season of changing. They themselves changing. They themselves forgiving people. Mm -hmm. Now, that's where we are beginning mm -hmm. from. Now, Evelyn, mm -hmm. hey, hey, all of us, all of us, including myself, yes. we always find ourselves in this place of uh, Lord, come on, as I change you, let me say, mm. as I feel this way, mm -hmm. which makes me to ask myself this, mm. no, wh what, what makes, or what brings this push to want to change people? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I think most of us have emotional baggages, oh, yeah. which are as a result of anger, mm -hmm. fear, mm -hmm resentment yeah. and even unfinished businesses uh, so we have unfinished business yes yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes like um yeah. of course you've given a, a very good example yes 
of someone who would have wanted to, you know, um, revenge it on on his enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fact that <laughs> him he must have been angry. Yeah. You know. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we also see this um, even even in in families mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whereby if if as a parent mm -hmm. I I want to see my child become better than. Wow. Yes, and not go through the mistakes that I went through. True, true. I have that fear. Mm -hmm. I have businesses that were not finished. Mm -hmm. And so I want to to project it out on either my son or my daughter. Mm -hmm. So um that is one cause. <laughs> so so there are some parents who have unfinished business. Yes, sir. <laughs> and they want their kids to uh, they want to fix their kids according to the unfinished business. Yes, yeah. things they would have done. Uh -huh. But now because they failed in that part, mm -hmm. you know, you find yourself trying to, uh, to fix your son yeah. or to change your son yeah. so that he does not repeat your mistakes. True. And, and actually that's very important because some of our parents want us to do some courses which they themselves were not able to get. And so they want us to get into that, those kind of careers. Mm -hmm. My father was not able to become an engineer and yeah. his dream was to become an engineer. Yes. So he has always trumpeted that in my ears for you to become an engineer. Sure. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Let's just leave that one. Yes. Now, what are you practice? What are you vulnerable? What are you going to fix something? Either in employer or employees or, colleague, or colleagues. They, they have some. Kuna colleagues who are going to fix something. So, <laughs> Have you found yourself wanting to fix some people? Yes, that reminds me. Uh -huh. um, uh, a few years ago, like seven years ago, uh -huh. I used to work What's in a, <laughs> I used to work in Afghanistan. Yeah. And um, I was a supervisor. Uh -huh. You know, whereby I was a, the only lady yeah. in a department of 30 men. And these men were from different nationalities. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, from different religions. True. Yeah. So this... Um, this uh, big girl, you know, yeah. who believes in um, wanting to fix people through prayer. Oh, yeah. You know, I got that to... lady's spirit, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. I resulted to fast. Yeah. You know that, uh, God, I want you to change my colleagues. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, they were giving me a hard time. Yeah. They had to report to me, and, of mm -hmm. course, I needed to supervise them. Yeah. But it was not easy. Mm -hmm. And um, I prayed and mm -hmm. fasted. <laughs> So, uh, mm -hmm. on my second day, mm -hmm. I remember I had gone, uh, you know, over lunch hour to pray. Yeah. And then I sat down to read this book. Mm -hmm. It's called Psalms 91, The Umbrella yeah. of Protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, I needed God to protect me, yeah. you know, from, mm -hmm. from this, this man. kind of men and yeah. uh, colleagues. Mm -hmm. And uh, to my surprise, oh, God was about to fix me. <laughs> So I remember reading this part where it said that um, many times yeah. I use people to deal with you where my word is not effective. Let, let's let's read this. That point is very key. Many times I I, I allow people mm -hmm. to deal with you where my word is not effective. Wow. So in a place in your effective. Yes. God and Akuja. Yes. Yes. Because what you are enough to bring transformation. True, true. true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, your attitude, yet, your yeah, mind, yet, yeah. Yeah, even the way we see people. Mm, true. But now, if we don't allow his word, mm -hmm. you know, to transform us, sometimes God allows people to, to just to. Yeah, what we do. Yes, in a simple way, so that our attitude may change towards them. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, when it changes towards them, it changes towards God Himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, we will never see God. We will always see people. <laughs> deal with people. And it's true because it's funny even how when we get born again, yes. we don't come and find saints. No. We find fallen people. Yes. Who they themselves are struggling with issues. At an hour, you know, and, and, and God places us in that kind of environment that we may grow together. Yes. Isn't that profound? Now, uh, that reminds me also, at a minute, but I call a situation being I had a very terrible employer last year. Mm. Uh, this gentleman gave me a work, and then uh, he happened not to pay me for two consecutive months. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, I had, I was fresh from school, man. So I desperately needed money. I desperately needed work. But um, say I got two months, two months, man. 
na venye bumbia kitu na pesa venye it was a bad season anyway i prayed for him i wanted god to strike him dead i wanted god to bring plagues you know the egyptian plagues upon that person ah. until now god had to rebuke me and tell me son you know what bro? this this person is is my son mm. you know and so many times we forget this these people are they are also true god's children very you know? true and they're god's children and god also is dealing with he's them he's working through them and in them and in them too mm. so i really wanted that man dead but It's not the him who died it's me who died mm. to serve God. Yes. Wow. Anyway, so <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us that. Now, eh kuna drive that that drive ya kuta kuchini because it, 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 it okay, I haven't overcome it personally. Yes. You overcome your drive. Mm. Na tutataka bado hata saa hizi nataka change myself. Mm. So you don't want to talk about it. Okay, of course from our fallen nature. Uh-huh. And uh, looking at uh, a parable that Jesus, you know, gave mm-hmm. to his disciples in Luke chapter 6 verses 42. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can read that. Yes, sir. Let mm-hmm. me read that. Mm-hmm. It says, "How can you say to your brother, oh, yeah. brother, mm-hmm. let me take the speck out of your eye mm-hmm. when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye? Mm-hmm. You hypocrite. Mm-hmm. First take the plank out of your eye, mm-hmm. and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's, brother's eye." eye. So I think most of us have the issue of, we we are we are affected by self righteousness oh, which is characterized by a satiety especially an unfounded one that is totally correct or morally mm-hmm. you know superior yeah. whereby I feel like you know I have it on yes. it is Sam who needs to deal with himself mm-hmm. I need to fix him mm-hmm. because I've fixed myself who told you that it's a lie it's a lie so and 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 in that particular uh, situation Jesus will call you high prophet you know exactly. first, first deal with yourself yes before you deal with the other there are many things you need to deal with yourself no wonder when i went to pray for my colleagues mm-hmm. god yeah, told yeah. me uh-huh. it is you i'm dealing with because <laughs> i am the issue then you go there require chapa and paper <laughs> yes uko kwa hiyo environment because wewe ndio unataka ku deal na wewe yeah that is why i'm using the people working with you mm-hmm. so it is the same way mm-hmm. when we're dealing with people mm-hmm. we tend to see their weaknesses their flaws and mm-hmm. magnify them mm-hmm. yet we have flaws mm-hmm. true, true so true. we need to look at ourselves mm-hmm. and even <clears throat> work mm-hmm. out to you know better ourselves and just deal with what needs to be dealt with mm-hmm. yes and so that that reminds me that because if if that is the situation then mm-hmm. then i don't graduate from that school no uh, from the school of working on self from the school of uh i haven't graduated from some attitudes from some behaviors uh, mm-hmm. how many times do we think we've dealt with our attitude until we are taken to a different environment and then we realize no? and then we realize <laughs> oh i thought i dealt with that uh-huh. how come this is creeping back mm-hmm. Yes. I thought I'm very forgiving. Exactly. You know, because I forgave my father or, or my I'm brother patient. or I'm patient. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because I remember sometime I was dating they, they, my girlfriend always used to come late mm-hmm. for dates yeah. and it would really make me mad, you know. Mm-hmm. I had to tell God, you know, deal with me. Now until now I found there are some people who are living they don't even care about time. She used to come one hour late and nikapata kuna two hours late. Okay. So I had to graduate again to become patient again with people who come two hours late. <laughs> anyway, yes. So uh now when when I think about you know that lord fix the other person please mm. mentality. Mm. I find there is an underlying lie. Mm-hmm. You know there is a lie behind that kind of a mentality which is very subconscious by the way. We, we never realize it's not up front. Mm. So, so um What is the lie behind that kind of uh, mentality? You know, fix the other person wrong. I think most of us are dealing with uh, some na- some insecurities that we even don't know. Oh. Unfounded insecurities. Uh-huh. And um of course it is as a result of the environment where we've come from. Yes. The others who feel I am better off. Mm-hmm. And this takes me to a story in the book of John chapter 8. Uh-huh. You remember the story of the adulterous adulterous woman yeah, yeah, yeah. who was brought before Jesus you know mm-hmm. men came dragging her mm-hmm. and it's like of course <clears throat> they were feeling like they were better off and here they were quoting laws mm-hmm. you know of what was supposed to be done yes. to such a woman mm-hmm. and I, i remember Jesus asking them let he who has no fault be the, be the first, first to one. cast the oh, stone yeah yeah and uh, of course it continues to record that mm-hmm. 
starting with the old. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they were just dropping their stones mm -hmm. and disappearing mm -hmm. from the side. Mm -hmm. It is the same with us. How many times do we feel like it is Sam who needs to be crucified and not uh, Eva? Yeah. Because I feel like Sam has done that which is recorded somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yet, I like yesterday. Mm -hmm. I need to deal with myself. Mm -hmm. You know, stop lying as, as well. Yes. Before I think that Sam has done that thing which needs to be publicized and, you know, mm -hmm. the world needs mm -hmm. to know. Mm -hmm. Because probably there is a law that states somewhere mm -hmm this is what needs to be done to this kind of people. Mm -hmm. So looking at that story, mm -hmm. I just love how Jesus said huh? that mm -hmm. no one condemned you. Mm -hmm. I also don't condemn you. Yeah. You know, go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is the same attitude we should have towards people, yeah. whereby as much as we feel we are better than them, we should also um, realize they have a place where they, 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 they play in our part because True. they also have True. strengths that we don't have True. which are complemented to uh -huh. probably weaknesses that we, have. that we have. So with that we will learn to appreciate everybody uh -huh. and not crucify others, uh -huh. you know, yes. using our own standards. Yeah. yeah. Now the, the other thing I also found behind that kind of a mentality of fixing the other person mm. is uh, a holier than thou attitude. Yeah. You, know, uh, you know, you always feel your ideas are higher than than the other person. Mm -hmm. And you always feel like you are culture. You feel very culture. Mm -hmm. The other person is not very culture. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same kind of uh, a mentality that we find uh, that has plagued generations past us. You know, the, the, the slave trade and when it was there, you know, some people feel because of their race, it's because of, you know, they feel they are Superior. higher than the other person. Yes. But they forget at the, at the core of it all, mm -hmm. all of us, we are human beings. We are fallen. We are flawed. Yeah. We have so many things that, you know, we still need to work on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ah, so it's a lie. Men it is fix a lie. the other person mentality, it's a lie. Mm -hmm. So if it's a lie then, mm -hmm. then it means it doesn't always work. Yes. It, it, it crumbles. Mm -hmm. That mentality always crumbles. Yes. Why do you think so? Because as soon as you try changing one person, uh -huh. you realize that you have 7 billion people in the world that you need to change. And you can't do that. There's no time. I mean, will you live all those years for you to change 7 billion people? Even, even now, live around even 7. Your own family, you know, your own nuclear family. Yeah. You know, you, you, can't, you can't change them. Mm -hmm. You can't change your father. You can't change your mother. You can't change your siblings. You yes. can't change your colleagues. You can't. Yes. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. And of course, the other thing is, uh -huh. the moment you start looking like you want to change people, you yes. push them away. Oh yeah. Like yeah. if some um yeah. appears here today mm. and you know I'm this I'm a suit person. Mm. I love guys who are dressed in suits. Mm. And then he comes here dressed in jeans. Mm. I'm like, Sam, oh, I'll yeah. give us like, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. And I even uh, recommend my own barber where Sam needs to, you know to go and have his his hair <laughs> shaven. Yes. So these are some of the things. They may look very small, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. but when we magnify them and this is what we, we, we used to like try to change people, mm -hmm. you know, the people around us, mm -hmm. we end up pushing them. Because now, but it's just if you to prof, uh, uh, perfectionism, I mean, perfectionist, yes. uh, upper tapadali. Anyway, so all of us, of course, we are not perfectionists, mm -hmm. but we have it. Now, uh, perfectionist Kwanzaa, they are those people who like, who you have just done your work nicely. Yes. Mm. If I come with red shoes, that time they think I should have come with black shoes because yes. the suit and the red shoes are not, you know, and they always find small, small stuff to really always correct people. Mm -hmm. So perfectionist, move outside your son. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so so what's the other thing that you know? Uh, 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 the, the 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 reason as to why you you told us. Uh, uh, we push people away yes. by trying to fix them. Yes. Uh, the other thing is that in the realization that we fix one person, the other we realize you can't fix every person. Mm -hmm. So what is the other thing that you know can you know the, the, the as to why this kind of a thing will fail? Yes. Um. I found myself in this. I'm a culprit. So mm -hmm. let me share. Mm -hmm. Whereby if you're dating someone, mm -hmm. you really want to fix them. You want to change them. Aye, yeah. <laughs> and then at the end of the day, when they try to change for you, you realize, again, this is not the, the same person, or rather this is the, not the person I want you yeah. to be in my life. Yeah. So with that, you end up losing them. Oh. 
because now again they changed to, yeah. to suit you mm -hmm. but i realized no this is not what i wanted you to become yeah like you better mm -hmm. become too spiritual mm -hmm. or too carnal yeah yeah because uh yeah. if i'm that spiritual type mm -hmm. and then you you mm -hmm. you know you want to please me you want to accompany me everywhere again yeah. i start feeling like yeah. You're, you're too much too into much. my space. Yes, yes. Like I want my me time. Mm -hmm. I want my space. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we will keep on <laughs> desiring to change people, but we will never achieve that if you want to. No, I love I love me emphasize that because uh, our dear ladies they really fall into this trap. Yeah. Ujama, he's hot guy. I mean, he's he's cool. I mean, you see him, the chemistry in a run through the blood. You feel like I, I can't let this guy, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you fix. You, you you stay, and in that stay, you're like, can you be going to church because you're the church girl? So yes. you'll be going to church. Yes. And then, I'm say, I'm say, of course, mm -hmm. by the way, even he's not born again, but anyway, he'll just like church. So he starts coming to church. Mm -hmm. And then along the way, this always doesn't work, but go to two an hour later, anyway. So along the way, the guy gets born again. Mm -hmm. Ananza kupenda Yesu. Ana realize purpose yake. Ana realize kwa nini lazima come church. Mm -hmm. Kidogo kidogo, ananza ku attend Tuesday prayers. Yeah. Ananza kuenda mountain na fasting. Mm -hmm. Ana kuuliza by the way, first ananza ku feel, ah, dude. <laughs> You're too much. You're too much. You're too much. Yes. Wow. Anyway, so now we've looked at the problem. So mm -hmm. where, where do we start mm -hmm. to, to, to solve the problem because we can't change people, we can't fix no. people. Mm -hmm. So where do we start to look at this problem and to solve it? Okay. Now, um, if we are dealing like with an an sister, mm -hmm. we need to really protect ourselves from power plays, eh? mm -hmm. and of course, establish healthier boundaries. Yeah. Whereby, because I've realized mm -hmm. you want me to keep on admiring you, mm -hmm. I need to realize that I also have a dream to fulfill. Yeah. So we, we need to look at our dreams and, of course, now start pursuing that. Yes. So that I don't live up to always massage your ego mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. want to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So with that, mm -hmm. I will realize that I, I'll stick to my lane and at the end of the day, mm -hmm. fulfill my purpose without feeling like mm -hmm. I have to keep on. Yeah. Conforming no. to your... Yes, and making you feel so important. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Now, the, the other thing I think I've, I, I've been thinking along that line mm -hmm. is, um, you see, <clears throat> we have said there's a lie behind fixing the other person. Yeah. And there's always a projection which the other person is changing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I can't change the other people. Sure. So why don't we start with our own hearts? Yes. You know, we start looking by, it's my heart that needs God. It's my heart that needs transformation. Mm -hmm. Now, Jeremiah 17, the 9 says this. Mm -hmm. That the human heart is the most desireful mm. of all things, mm. and it's desperately, desperately wicked. wicked. So, as I've been thinking in that line, um, is we take our hearts to God. Mm. When I say, God, mm. I'm dealing with anger issues, and when I'm dealing with anger issues, sometimes I think the other people are very slow, but it's me who has anger issues, and I think I'm intolerant to them. Mm. So, God, I'm saying, you could be in anger. Mm. if I'm very impatient, and I think the other people. They're the ones who need to be doing things faster. You know, you are. So mm. I start by telling the Lord, God, please mm. help me work on this attitude. Help yeah. me work on the attitude towards my boss, towards mm -hmm. my colleague, mm -hmm. towards this person who really looks like they patch every day. Mm. And me, I'm the church kind of a person who prays every day. Mm. And realize they themselves, God, is also working in them. Sure. You know, it's my heart first. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, we need to develop emotional intelligence whereby. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, you know, say everything anytime, anywhere. Mm. Like the, the comments which I can reserve to myself. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, look for a nicer way of saying it. Mm -hmm. You know, when the mm -hmm. environment is conducive. Yes. Like I don't have to be that person who knows it all. Mm -hmm. Whereby, mm -hmm. you know, I walk with that standard everywhere. Yeah. So that everyone I meet, even when we don't have a connection or a rapport, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just there trying to <laughs> fix everyone. <laughs> so we should uh, learn to complement <clears throat> one another. Because at the end of the day, we all have strength. Yes, yes. Which um, when we, we bring together, we can <clears throat> achieve something. Mm. Yes. And then there's the other thing of having an outward self-talk. Mm -hmm. When I'm tempted to fix him, mm -hmm. I remind myself, hey, no, I can't fix him. 
it's me first. You know that conscious, repetitive statement, I can't fix the other person. It's yeah. me who needs to change. Yeah. I can't change the other person. It's me who needs to change. Mm-hmm. And when I'm tempted to do that, I remind myself, Lord, it's me who needs fixing. Mm-hmm. It's me who needs change. It's me who is broken. Yes. And in doing that, mm-hmm. I, I, I walk towards a transformation myself. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to crucify the other person. Mm-hmm. I crucify myself first. Yes. Now, the, now, we cannot, of course, fix people. Yes. But we can inspire change in them. Mm-hmm. So how do we go about that? Yeah, first of all, by having empathy. Yes. Whereby it's good to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Like I say, we've all been, we've all been subjected to different environments. Mm-hmm. 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 You know, we've come from different backgrounds. Yeah. So we've gone through many things. Mm-hmm. And the, the way I say that, uh, you know, when you were beginning about emotional, emotional baggage. So some of us have repressed anger. Mm-hmm. We are anxious about life. Mm-hmm. We, we've been subjected through a lot. Yes. So before I judge you, before mm-hmm. I, I would want to fix you, mm-hmm. I should empathize and get to know that probably Evelyn or Irene or mm-hmm. Sam there mm-hmm. is dealing with something. So let me first be patient be with patient. him or her. If you're my colleague, mm-hmm. I should understand that. Okay, probably you left the house in the morning yeah. and uh, your baby was sick. Yeah. Or if you're a mother, mm-hmm. your house help left in the morning. Mm-hmm. And so there are many things which you needed to fix before coming to work. Mm. So before I try fix you, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. by projecting my anger or mm-hmm. resentment, mm-hmm. I should, you know, Gosh. empathize. Yeah. yeah. And with yeah. that, mm-hmm. I'll be able to now feel what you're feeling. Yeah without wanting to fix anything. Now, the other thing that Jesus always emphasizes, mm. now, Jesus doesn't conquer and doesn't change you and me by coming with fixing kind of an attitude. No. He, he, he wins us by love. Very true. And, and he woos us. He woos our hearts daily. Yes. And imagine God angekujama Jesus angekujanga na a list of the to-do list and akuliza, Eve, have you done this? Have mm. you done this? You know, you like, what kind of a God is that? Mm. You know, you won't like that. Mm. daily you find God brings a transformation in your heart and mind yes. by love yes. and, 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 and Napoleon Bonaparte the French conquest leader, he says this and I quote that it's only Jesus who founded his empire on love and millions to this very day are willing to die for him mm. let's talk about love again yeah looking at first uh, Corinthians chapter 13 mm-hmm. he talks about what love is mm. And there's something I love. It's called a love challenge. Love challenge. Yeah. Yes. That every time I want to be intolerant with someone, mm-hmm. I remind myself, love is patient. Yes. Love is kind. Mm-hmm. Love is long-suffering. Mm-hmm. And um, anytime I'm offended by someone, like I have a, I have a notebook where I've journaled, mm-hmm. uh, there are people who really offended me. Yeah. And I had to go back and you know right. Mm-hmm. And I said, Eva... You will be patient with Sam. Yeah. Eva, you will be kind to Sam. Uh-huh. Eva, you will be kind to, you know, uh-huh. even that employer. Yes. Because you realize that without love, you cannot conquer it mm-hmm. all. I mean, mm-hmm. love conquers it all. Mm. But love is a practical thing. It's an action. It's a doing. It's a doing one. It's a doing one. <laughs> yeah. Whereby uh-huh. we will always be challenged, mm-hmm. you know, to love even people who are unlovable. Mm-hmm. And these are the same people God will bring in our environment. You know, whereby. It is so easy to say I love you mm-hmm. until that is tested. And it's tested indeed. It is tested. Mm-hmm. So I can only be patient by reminding myself that Eva, you have to be patient with Sam. You know the same way love is patient. Mm-hmm. Yes, I can only be kind to Sam. Mm-hmm. You know the same way love is kind. And it's a daily thing. It is a daily thing. <laughs> so at the end of the day, what you need is love. Because love <laughs> will conquer it all. Love will conquer it all. Yes. It reminds me of what Rick Warren says mm. in his book that we are doing currently for passage of the life. Yes. And he says that God teaches us the meaning of love mm. by putting a loving people in our life. Mm-hmm. Very unloving people. Yes. Incredibly unloving. Actually, it, 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 it's loving those who are completely unlovable. They don't deserve of our love. Mm. But anyway, we mm. choose mm. to love them. Yes. Because we know that love conquers it all. Mm. Closing remarks as we wind up. Wow. So we need to look up to Jesus who's our model. Sure. Because we're all called to be Christ-like. Mm-hmm. So none of us is called to change another. Yeah. To conform to their own standard. Mm-hmm. Our standard is Christ. Mm-hmm. So let us strive.
to lead people mm-hmm. that they may change to conform to the image of Christ. Not according to our image. No. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Mm-hmm. Eve, I've been touched by that word. So you pray for us, please. So let us pray. Father, we are so grateful this morning. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the challenge that has come forth. Mm-hmm. That even as we um, deal with people, mm-hmm. as we continue working with them, mm-hmm. living with them as parents and as siblings, yes, Lord. Lord, we may desire that they may change and conform to the image of Christ because that is what we, have, we are called to become. Oh, yes, Lord. How we pray, Jehovah God, that you may forgive us any time we've tried to change people, to conform to our own standards oh, yes, because Lord. they are also wanting. Mm-hmm. How we pray, Jehovah God, that we may look up to you mm-hmm. as the only example, as the model that has gone ahead. Mm-hmm. And Jehovah God, gone through issues we've gone through, and at the end of the day, conquered it all. Yes, we love you and we honor you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. So this is the conclusive remark. Please, I mean, hashtag this one. I mean, tweet this. I mean, and it came to come a quote. Love conquers it all. all. Mm-hmm. Have a blessed Sunday. Now, Pinda Sana. Tonane next Sunday. Thank you very much.